heading back into Sharp's Chapel in Union County, Tennessee, searching for some old history. I'll show you some old sites, the things I've been researching over the last few months since fall, even during the winter. Now this place is in Sharp's Chapel, Union County, Tennessee, East Tennessee. And you get to see a lot of old sites as you step back in time, get away from this rat race, head back into the old country, back to the old time of how our people used to live in these countries. And you see sites like this. An old store. I'd like to get some history on that. And we head back on in what they call Chuck Swan on the end of Sharp's Chapel. It's a wildlife game management area. Here it is on the map in between two rivers in a lake called North Lake between Powell River and Clinch River. There's a lot of country here. And the main roads is really good. You can drive them real good. When the weather's right, beautiful country, if you've never seen it. But one thing about it, during the week, Monday through Friday, you got to watch out for these logging trucks. Because they're logging this place pretty heavy at times. So you have to watch out for them. Give them the leeway. But they're not logging on the weekend. But during hunting season, it's only for hunters on the weekend. But I find stuff like this, where they log. I don't like this logging, but sometimes they expose stuff that's hidden that you'll never see. Look out here in the middle of this field. I thought that was a whale until I got up to it, but it's an old sister. I can't find no remnants of the cabin or nothing that was around it, but it's an old water sister. How old that is. And not far from it down here is a place called Mossy Spring. Got a spring coming out of this bridge on a cold morning. You can see it there. Runs round the clock, round the year. Good drinking water. But that's easy to get to. And we head on back in here on this main road. Such beautiful country. See all kinds of game. And back here what they call next to Forks of the River, at the end of it, along the road, is an old site. Looks like an old dairy, don't it? But I'm not so sure. I'll show you pictures of it here. I walked around in it and filmed it. It's either an old dairy or it's an old battery charging house. And they used to have old batteries way back in the early 1900s. They charged batteries for homes, radios, even telegraph. And you look at it here, it's awful fancy to be a, a, a dairy. I'm thinking it's some kind of charge, charge house for batteries. Where they set their batteries down in the water here. Awful fancy for an old dairy, ain't it? But there's a lot of history here, forgotten in time. Yeah, they took some pains building this. So, there's probably an old store here next to it. But you can't really tell. It's just some, some things you just can't find out. So you have to do some really good research. But you go around in the spring, about the 1st of March, and a dead giveaway for an old home site places is these Easter flyers. Out in the middle of nowhere on these roads, you'll see where a house used to be. These old Easter flyers. And you come across stuff like this. Here's an old house seat. This is a chimney with a tree growing out of it. An old house chimney with a with a with a tree growing out of it. Beautiful old sights here you find. Here's the old house seat. Old history gone by. 
And we head on down the road here to what we call a place in Big Spring on Henniger Road. Here's a map of it in this area. And I'll show you this little site that I've been studying. It's old rock wall. A lot of history has gone by. It's just about forgotten about. Nature's took it back. Used to be open fields here, I'd say. Look here, what an oak tree. Old oak, if it could talk. The times it's seen. And I grabbed it here just to give you some scale how big this old oak is. This is an old oak. It's got to be two or three hundred years old. And up on top of this little rock wall, is a house foundation. No, it's not like a cabin site. This was a home. This has got a concrete foundation. So my guess this was back in the 20s, 30s, maybe a little older, before TVA took all the land. Here's an old chimney to it, right in the middle of the house. Right on top of this little knob. Beautiful old site. Now walking around this foundation. So this had to be a pretty nice little home at one time. All this was a, probably a big barn. There's the steps into the house. Old remnants. Probably parts of an old wagon or car or something. And you see the front yard here, how this is. Now I figured it was made like this. It's it on a hillside, and it had rocks piled up here and backfilled with dirt, so they'd have a level front yard for their house. I'd say that's what that was, but that took a lot of work to do that. Build that wall and backfill all that. To have them a level site. It's amazing what you find. And down below it there. There's an older site. You can see down here in the wood. That looks like the old chimney. To an old cabin site. Nothing but limestone. I don't really know. But it's amazing to find these old sites in the middle of nowhere. But I found some brick in this one. Now these ain't your common bricks. These are old. Probably a little old house. Not really sure. But that's what's left of it. And we head on off into the really off the beaten path of this place. Back in the back of places that's way off the main road. Some about forgotten about places. And you come down to these old graveyards in the middle of nowhere. Some of them are kept up pretty good and some are not. Some you can't even find. So much of our pioneers and settlers here, hundreds of years ago, lay here. One of his old graveyard is Lost Creek Cemetery. It's an old one, the oldest one here. Now they say there's 53 graveyards here at Chuck Swan, but I couldn't tell you about where half of them's at. Most of them, nature's took them over. You can't even find them. And they got old history like this. Here's a really old one. This Benjamin Sharp, he fought in the Battle of Kings Mountain, Battle of Boyd's Creek, with John Sevier, one of our first governors in the state of Tennessee. A lot of history took place here, I'm telling you. And we head on out of there, and I'm still finding these old places like this. 
old cabin sites off the beaten path off these roads and these hollers up above the old lake, you're liable to see anything. So much history. And I'm still searching for something I found 42 years ago and I can't find it again. There was a marker stone where a family had been killed by Native Americans back when they settled this country in the late 1700s. But I've not been able to find it. But I'm still looking. So I thought I'd share with you some of this stuff I found, what I'm researching, and what I'm still exploring. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. I love showing them to you, and I love to explore history. So I want to thank you for watching, God bless, and I'll see you next time.